Hey, it's Ed Chris here today from Huck Bones Equipment. Uh, in today's video, we're going to, be doing, going to be doing an overview of a brand new hybrid inverted blower from Kubota. It is the K64-24-07. It is a brand new blower from them. Pretty excited about it here at Huck Bones. Uh, it is the first hybrid inverted blower from Kubota. They will be having a series of them, either made by up here in Canada's RAD. In the States, it might be Land Pride. As we move along, we'll know more information about that. But uh, again, back to today's video is going to be an overview. We would really, really enjoy bringing you a head-to-head -head comparison against a Normand and you can see it behind me and in front of me and everything the snow is falling but unfortunately we do not have enough on the ground yet to do that but as soon as weather permitting we can we will be doing that so so let's skip right to some uh, some information about this uh, new blower and why we're so excited about it So getting into the overview aspect of this unit is what makes it a hybrid styling over an inverted. Classic inverted styling is where you'll see the auger and then a fan behind it and then your bracketry sticking out the back. Uh, make it very long, uh, not compact like you'll see on the hybrids. As well as that, on top of that, which you would see is that you can't get close to things. Whereas on a hybrid styling, you can get close. You can see right down that bottom corner, very efficient blower. You know, and a little bit of the history on the hybrids is that's the way the industry is going. It was a company called Cyclone came out with the hybrids uh, approximately five, six years ago. Um, and then since then, some snowblower companies were very quick to adapt, whether it be Normand or Pronovost uh, jumped on board really quickly. And the reason for that is because these blowers are awesome. Again, that's why it's, it's Exciting to see Kubota jump in because that's where the industry is going. The reason for that is because they're a much better blower than what the, the classic inverteds were. Um, again, for inverteds, that's what the technology had for a number of years. But whenever somebody comes out with something bigger and better, it's nice to see uh, the company jump in too and, and improve their lineup with it. So it's nice to see the company jump in uh, and, and release this for the Canadian market at 64 inch. It's perfect sizing for a lot of their small tractors. Again, what you're going to see is whether it be up here in Canada, be rad technology make these down the states you might see land pride they're going to come out with the full lineup it's not for this year but potentially in the next year the winter after that you're going to see right from your 54 inch uh, 64 74s and 80s and again this one is a residential use you may see some commercial ones come out with that as well what you're going to want to know now is some particulars on this unit being 64 inches wide uh, you're going to see on the it's going to be uh, for 25 to 55 horsepower tractors. What that translates to on the Kubota lineup is, you know, your B01s uh, can, can accommodate this unit, uh, as well as your LXs and your LO1s or LO2s, depending on when you're watching this video. Again, you're going to want a couple inches on each side. So any tractor that's uh, roughly 60 inches wide or less uh, will accommodate this, as long as it can take the weight. This blower itself is going to weigh about 700 pounds. Because again, it doesn't matter whether you're a classic inverted blower or the new hybrid style, you're going to want weight so that it can cut right down. Because again, the tractor is going to be running over that snow first, so you want it to be blown away and cut in. So you're going to need weight for that. And it really matters where that weight is. One other important fact on it, again, is uh, your steel gauge is 14 gauge. Um, everybody always wants to know that and how important that is to for snow blower for uh, durability issues. Some of the standard equipment you're going to get, your skid shoes and cutting edge, they're going to be steel. It's quick hitch compatible. Again, what are some of these numbers here? Well, K64 means it's 64 inches wide. Whenever it comes to that 24-07, that's fan measurement. So your fan is gonna be 24 inches wide, seven inches deep. One thing you're gonna to wanna to know is your auger width at 15 inch. How many blades are on that fan? It's gonna be a four blade fan in there. So that's all kind of the particulars that you kinda of wanna know about this unit. Some of the options you can upgrade, you know, it comes standard with a manual deflector as well as a manual rotation. You can upgrade those to hydraulic. Chute here, um, comes standard with a two piece chute. You can upgrade to a three-piece not too common but it is there if you want to change your some of the angles and stuff for your deflector and make it a little bit more commercial grade on that end uh, last but not least one of the options you can get is uh, your plastic uh, cutting edge and uh, skid shoes if you're hoping not to scratch some of your patio stones and uh, everything like that it's all that important stuff and the cost of that for to upgrade your shoe is approximately eight hundred dollars and your plastic skid shoes is roughly a thousand with that cutting edge so okay so whenever dealing with the the maintenance of a of a snowblower there's always a little bit of moving parts to it so you want to be able to check them maybe you have a blockage or something step number one turn off your tractor there is a number of reasons why there is warning signs on all this is because somebody has stuck their hands or uh, had accidents of dealing with snowblowers and moving parts so turn off your tractor and then you can 
deal with any blockage that you may have back here. As you can see, uh, very easy for this to open up. So again, it was just the uh, three, three dials to open up and then now you have complete access to everything under here. Lots to see here. You can see that nice big fan if you need access there. I have complete visibility of that auger if there's some sort of issue there, maybe a rock stuck or whatnot. You can get in there. Um, again, very easy access. That, and you hear that over and over, very easy access because that's what it is. That's what you want, uh, especially in an inverted blower. After that, there's a nice cover here. Under there is your uh, shear bolt for your uh, auger. Again, easy to change whenever, because uh, again, if you're dealing with snow, you're eventually going to hit something that's going to pop that shear bolt for your auger. So uh, easy access is always very important. Again, there is going to be a shear bolt for your fan as well, which is going to be on your PTO. Again, under nice, underneath a nice little cover there. Easy access is always great, right? So, especially whenever it's minus 20 out and snow's blowing and you want to get in and out of your driveway. After that, whenever you're dealing with the off season, this does come with a nice stand. Sounds unimportant, especially whenever we're talking about it in the winter, but in the off season, you want it on that stand. Uh, I have an E68 Norman that does not come with a stand that always wants to pop up as soon as uh, it comes off the quick hitch, which is fine, except whenever I want to go put it on in the fall, that uh, again, you're, you're dealing with that and uh, making some adjustments to try and get it on. So add it all up makes it a very deluxe blower at a very economical price and that's what they're aiming for on this and that's what you want in a inverted hybrid blower so so that brings to the end of today's video again again brought to you an overview of that new k64 hybrid inverted blower from kubota again it gives you all the stats what you really want to see is us put it through its paces and hopefully in the near future whenever the weather cooperates we're able to do that because we do want to put it through its paces as well as compare it up against some normans and that'll be the n60 hybrid as well as the e68 inverted blower from from norman so so look forward to those whenever weather permitting we're able to shoot that one thing i should let you know is i'm very biased when it comes to inverted blowers i do love them i think they're the best one out there when you start comparing them up against uh, whether it be rear facing blowers or front snow blowers. so i think inverted's the best because not only do i not have to look back all the time i still have use of my front loaders so that's my quick spiel on that so if you enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe and if you have any comments please down below thank you